Not knowing the right shortcuts is slowing you down more than you think. Just imagine you live here in this house, you need to go to school or work. This would be the fastest way, right? Imagine going this way, Th that would be stupid. Well, you're kind of doing the same thing in FL Studio. And all the time you wasted is gone forever, you will never get it back. So. Write down every shortcut that I'm about to tell you. In the mixer track you have this nice stack of mixers with everything routed but you need to put another mixer right in between these. Very simple, select an empty one and hold down shift. Then use the scroll wheel up or down to move the mixer track to the left or the right. Nice. As you can see FL Studio snaps these notes to the grid. Well you don't always want that. By holding down alt and dragging the note with your mouse you're unlocking free movement. This also works in the playlist with audio clips by the way. Now that we're in the playlist set your player to the beginning of the chorus of your beat. Then hit Alt plus T on your keyboard and this creates a marker which you can then give a name. That's very useful. On top you can toggle between the playlist and the channel rack which is a nice feature of FL Studio. You could also use L on your keyboard to use that toggle which is so much faster. Let's say you have this chord progression and you want the first chord to be longer and the second one to be shorter. You can adjust them one by one or you can select them and hold down shift on your keyboard. And then you can drag them from the middle. You see what it does? Awesome. If you're using the slide tool, you want to make precise cuts and to do that, hold shift. This will make your slicer snap to the grid, which in turn gives you precise cuts. Another cool trick with the slice tool, you can right click and then drag a clip and then it will remove the shortest side of that clip. Uh, pretty cool. Hold down shift when dragging a note to the left or the right. This will lock it to the note in the piano and make sure that you don't accidentally pitch it up or down. So you just played a beautiful melody on your MIDI keyboard, but it isn't quite on beat. Well then you can quantize it. Hit Ctrl plus Q and this will snap the notes to the shortest line on the grid. If you hit Alt plus A, the quantize options will open where you can adjust it. If you want to flip a melody, just hit Alt plus Y. Click OK and now your melody will play in reverse. The most underrated shortcuts are the tools. Seriously, if you don't know them, pause the video. Here they are, write them down, study them, because if these are in your muscle memory, you will become a FL Studio god and no one can stop you. That's a little bit over the top, but okay. Now you can make beats blazing fast, but if you want to double that speed, go check out this video where you will learn even more shortcuts. Subscribe, gotta go now.